Hey Horribus, I am one of the moderators of this group here. Uh, my name is Conan Hilga. That's pronounced Hilga, not Hillage, not Higley. Um, I've had many interesting takes on my last name, but it is Hilga. It is German, in case anybody is wondering where my background is. Um, so, first off, on behalf of uh, Kayla, who unfortunately is currently sick, uh, Kelly, James, and myself, we would love to thank all of you for being a part of this group and being here with us and supporting us and contributing the posts that you, you all do. Um, we, we absolutely love and appreciate your support and we would be nothing without you all. Um, heart, is that how you do the heart? Make a pump, bleeding heart. Um, now on to what we're here for, and what we're here to discuss, and what I'm here to discuss anyway. Whether or not you want to look at my ugly mug, um, and listen to what I have to say is really up to you. I just thought I'd give this a shot, and, uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, uh, now on to what we're, let's talk some horror, alright? So... Uh, let's, unfortunately, what's been going on in horror is two shows have been canceled. The first one that was supposed to happen on Sci-Fi, but is no longer happening, they filmed a pilot, and I guess Sci-Fi was just like, nope, sorry, not going through with it. And that would be the one and only Tremors, which was going to star not only Kevin Bacon, but Burt Ward. So they would be reprising the roles that you all know in the original Tremors. Um, yeah, it sucks, guys. You know, you want to see some horror shows come about. And I mean, we want to see more horror love, especially in television. Uh, but... I hate to break it to you, it's, it's not happening. Um, unless another network maybe picks it up, it's definitely not happening, so that sucks. But, um, speaking of Tremors, which I recommend you watching, coming out very, very shortly, in fact, depending on when I post it, it might already be out. Uh, May 1st is Tremors 6, Cold Day in Hell. So, and that will have Burt Gummers, a.k.a. the dude from Family Ties, <laughs> if you remember that show. I remember that show, Michael J. Fox at all. Come on. Uh, so that show, uh, sorry, that movie, not show, that movie will still be happening. So, I mean, we still get a Tremors kick, but I mean, come on. Like, wouldn't it be cool to have, like, an hour long or half an hour, like, weekly series about, like, the Graboids? Um, you know, hopefully somebody picks it up. Who do you think would should pick it up? If it, if it even is going to get picked up by anybody. Uh, I mean, Kevin Bacon has stated that it, he really, in his opinion, it was, it was amazing, but unfortunately, we'll, we'll not see it. Now moving on to even sadder news. It, it, this, this breaks my heart. Uh, it, really, it really does. It, it just... And I, uh, I'm sure some of you might know what I'm going to say, but due to Season 3's ratings dropping, one of the greatest shows I've watched in a while, and I really, I really love this show, Ash vs. Evil Dead, is cancelled. Um, and with that, we also have to say goodbye to Bruce Campbell, playing the role of Ash. He has officially retired the role of Ash. He will no longer be playing Ash in any form. Um, he's played the role for 37 years, and you know what? He's, he, I commend him. I mean, he's, he's, he's awesome. It's, 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 to, to say he, he, I mean, come on, hail to the king. Groovy. And, you know, whether you liked Ash vs. Evil Dead or whether you didn't, I personally liked it. 
but I grew up, my exposure was the Evil Dead trilogy was backwards. So I started with Army of Darkness, then went Evil Dead 2, and then Evil Dead 1. I know it's really weird, but that's, I was young and I watched Army of Darkness and then I remember my cousin saying to me, was like, hmm, you guys ever seen Evil Dead? I'm like, no, what's that? And then eventually I saw Evil Dead 2 and then <laughs> watched Evil Dead 1 and then oddly enough when I watched Evil Dead 1, I was like, wait a minute, didn't I fucking see this movie? <laughs> Um, so anyways, yeah, you know what, to, from, from all of us the horror bits, Bruce, thank you, thank you so much for playing Ash and giving us laughs and giving us, you know, the dead eyes rolls and kicking ass and, you know, swaying dead eyes, like, like, you gave us an amazing role and a hilarious role at times, uh, so, you know. It's, it's sad, but, you know, I mean, whether or not they go with a female perspective uh, on it, much like they did with the remake, that's a possibility. Or will they recast Ash in the future? Who knows? Either way, <sighs> no more Evil Dead. But hey, we, we, had, we had a good run, and, you know, it is what it is, guys. And, and girl, sorry. Um, it is what it is. Um, so, let's try and bite the mood. Let's try and bring some mood. Uh, recently, Kayla and I were at Shock Stock, uh, which is a convention that takes place in London, Ontario, not across the pond, London, UK, which I'm sure they have awesome festivals, and I'm sure they have awesome conventions, which I'd love to go to one day. But in the meantime, we went to the recent Shock Doc, which had such guests as Kane Hodder, Perry Shen, also from Victor Crowley and the Hatchet series. Uh, it had Tony Warren, who was Michael Meyer, but unmasked, if, and if you remember that. Yeah, he gets unmasked. Sorry, spoiler alert. Um, as well as they had James Duvall, who you may know as Frank the Bunny from Donnie Darko. He was also in an amazing movie, Doom Generation. If you haven't seen that movie, I highly recommend it. Uh, who else was there? Maurizio from Goblin. Uh, who else? Lloyd Kaufman of Troma. <laughs> My boy. Uh, and, and Kane Hodder, who we all know, and I believe I already said. From the hatchet, uh, it, it was it was a great experience. It, I highly recommend it if you are in the Ontario area between April May, the time this time of year. If you're happen to come across the border or across the pond or wherever you're from, or you know, a couple hours, we drove like two and a half hours to get to it, but it was well worth it. And that brings me to how it was and it was totally interactive it was like totally cool you could talk to these celebrities and these icons that we look up to and we admire for hours as long as you wanted to like there was no typical like okay get your picture and go like the big comic cons and the big corporate expos and conventions that I'm really not liking it. I don't know. It's, it's up to you. Like, what what do you what do you all feel about conventions? Like, do you like them? Do you not like them? Which ones have you been to? Uh, which ones would you love to go to? I mean, I've been to a few. Um, this was, I think, one of Kayla's first. So this, it, it was definitely I, I I did it a lot for her. I mean, I love the girl. Like, what? There's not much I wouldn't do for her. I know. All right. <laughs> um. So what else can I say? Uh, like it was, it was an amazing experience. Like cr cool vendors. Um, shout out to Rotten Rags. Make some great T-shirts. Unfortunately, I'm not wearing one right now, but they do make awesome T-shirts, and you should definitely check them out. Uh, shout out to Deadly Grounds Coffee, who was not there in presence, but 
they did sell some copies. There was some awesome, awesome vendors. A lot of really cool artwork, um, a lot of cool trinkets and masks and such like that. Plus trauma, if you like love trauma movies, which I personally love. And if you've never seen a trauma movie, I personally recommend either Chromeo and Juliet, Poultry Guys, Talk to the Avenger, Class of Nuclear High, Cannibal the Musical, which is made by and starring Matt Stone and Trey Parker from South Park. Uh, what other ones would I recommend? Chromeo and Juliet is definitely, I mean, it has, like, it's... <laughs> It's ridiculous. Terra Firma, I would also recommend. Uh, what if you're familiar with Troma? What do you What do you love about Troma, and what films would you recommend? Uh, let's. Um, and yeah, I mean, going to horror. What else can we talk about? Oh yes, there's coming out. Where is? I think May 11th, don't quote me, I believe, uh, but the movie Revenge is coming to Shudder. Uh, if you have Shudder, it's, uh, it's going to be on there. If you don't know what Shudder is, Shudder is much like Netflix, it's a streaming service, but all horror. Pretty good, I know, right? I'm not subscribed to it, I know, I'm, what am I thinking, like, I, I'm subscribed to Netflix, which is here and there. I know it's definitely better in the States than it is in Canada. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. But Shudder, all horror all the time. How can you go wrong with that? Um, yeah, but they they have a movie called Revenge. And the Revenge is, well, just like the title says, it is a revenge movie. It is about a young woman who is assaulted, left for dead, and she comes back and takes revenge, as the title said, on her uh, assailants. And it looks good. I personally really like the revenge film from such films as, obviously, the iconic I Spit on Your Grave, as well as the remakes of I Spit on Your Grave, which I really enjoyed. I thought, like, I, I really like revenge movies, whether it be I Saw the Devil, whether it be I Spit on Your Grave, whether it be Last House on the Left, I like when people get the revenge in, in a bloody fucking way. Because you know what? Whether it be rape, whether it be abuse, whether it be assault, as long as the victim gets the revenge and fucking them and for all the torment that they fucking put them through I love it like it's 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 a great subgenre in horror I mean one of my favorite movies that now some people define it as horror some people don't uh, drama wise the crow one of my all-time favorite memories and that that is pretty much a revenge movie um, so yeah with, with that said that's what I can talk about of horror this time and Hopefully you enjoyed watching My Ugly Mug and got a little bit of wisdom and a little bit of insight into what's going on in horror this week. And hopefully I'll see you next week if you all like it. If you don't, well, I tried. I tried. Okay, I'm sorry. I tried. I'm not perfect. I tried. Um, but, yeah, if you, if you do like it, hit the like thing, feel free to comment on this video, feel free to, I don't know, whatever, whatever you do with videos, I don't know, this is my first time, first time, like I'm trying this out for you, for all of you, uh, hopefully I'm comical, hopefully you were entertained, but on that note, I gotta say, as the late, great George Romero said, stay scared, and I'll talk to you soon, bye.